We're back in the Hunter Call of the Wild as Expansive Worlds is pushing out a new reserve this week. The 28th of June, Revontuli Coast is going to drop and uh, it is located in Finland. And with this new map, we're going to get 90 new animals. Well, not all of them new. Some of them we have already in the game, but a species list of 19 different species on one map. We've never had this many in one single reserve before and it is huge along with this update there is some massive changes and they are really good changes to the game in general and to the performance of the game as well it does really seem like ew has definitely stepped up their game and has for once hit the nail right on the head with this update let's get into it let's take a look at some of the different animals we can find on this huge reserve and also take a look at some of the new things that is coming with this as well as just see the environment in in its full glory i mean i'm scandinavian this is finland we're pretty close to home for me i am super happy with what i've seen so far and this one is one of the biggest small changes you probably didn't even know was in the game now. They have updated the harvest screen. They've made it a little bit darker, it seems, the background, and then they've upped the saturation of the animals. They look so good now, especially the colorful waterfowl we're gonna be hunting a little bit later as well. This little detail is such a massive change to the overall feel of the game and i am super stoked about such a tiny little thing meaning so much to what it feels like when you go around and pick up your animals now and as i was talking about there is a lot of new waterfowl on this map and we also have these water layout blinds which is actually super cool to use if you have a few of your buddies you want to be playing multiplayer jump on to a game get the decoy set up get some blinds out and then just get ready to see absolutely a plethora of different species coming in we have the eurasian teal right here we have some tundra bean goose we also have regular mallets on the map we have canada geese we have um golden eyes there is a lot of different stuff and a lot of new callers obviously this does mean that you're gonna spend a, a little fortune <laughs> if you want to get the full attraction strength of all of your decoys you need to place 20 in an area of one species to have the full attraction but look how fast these birds are now if you played the hunter call of the wild before and you did bird hunting this is is a massive change they're going to be circling around for a little you have callers so you can call them in as well i actually didn't even bring any you don't need them when you have these decoys out but i will say if you're going to be able to take more than a few every time you bring out your shotgun getting ready to shoot at them you're a god tier gamer these ones are going to be landing a little bit far away that's also a nice little change that now they can actually land on the ground oh looks like we are on here guys and they're gone and off they go i have i don't think i have yet hit anything with my 22 but even doing it with the shotgun this has actually gotten a real challenge and it is so much fun and uh again i was talking about this harvest green update it is such a big change for me i cannot tell you guys how happy i am to see the textures being updated as well call of the wild has taken a massive move forward into a direction where i'm really happy to see it go and it's not like you're going to be in shortage of actually having birds to shoot they will be coming in oh that's actually a piebald they will be coming in pretty fast again the piebald looks really good on the dock as well if you do want to read more about Reventuli, or uh, maybe you want to go and wishlist the game even buy it there is a link in the top of the description or in the first comment in the uh, youtube comments as well where you can read all you need to know and uh, if you click that link you help me out too so thank you so very much for that yeah i just thought this was a cool little uh, segment too uh, uh, let's move on we even have these small raccoon dogs running around as well. I am not sure if I'm going to be able to get that down. Nope, it does seem like... Uh, oh, there is one down there. I'll take that one instead. Where did it go? I'll be able to see it there. There is an opening. 
and we take it even though it was with the 308 i just wanted to get one of these down these are the uh, only new land animal that they have uh, put on this map and uh, they do look very similar to a uh, raccoon but it is a raccoon dog i'm guess most of you North Americans never really heard of them, <laughs> but they're actually a pest over here in Denmark. Let's take a look. Once again, look at the fur textures. It is... They look really good as well. And uh, most of the animals on this map actually gives you a ton of experience and cash as well. Now I shot it with the wrong gun, so we didn't end up getting the full score of the animal. But it's still a thousand bucks for the raccoon dog. With all these new animals, we're actually crossing 60 different species that we can now hunt in the Hunter Call of the Wild as well. There is also a ton of different geographical landmarks to experience on this map. This one is one of my favorite ones. It's called the Monument. I won't spoil too much, but you can probably figure out what this has anything to do with uh, with all these stones and such else. Go and click the sign over there and it will tell you exactly what this place is about. With this new reserve, they have also introduced a new feature in the game. They have actually brought in the Northern Lights, which obviously you can only see at night and it's not always you can see them. I have been fortunate enough to actually find them myself, but if you don't want to get that spoiled for you, uh, maybe uh, skip five seconds ahead in the video now. It has been a while since I have been this excited about content coming out for the Hunter Call of the Wild. And I gotta be honest, I've really been trying to look for bad things to say about this map or this update in general. And the only bad thing that I can actually come up with is if you are a big game hunter, maybe this is not going to be the map for you. Because on this map, the majority of animals that we will see is small game we have a new raccoon dog we got the western cabocale we got the black grouse and there is a lot of other birds we have a ton of new waterfowl in the game as well but they've updated how the waterfowl works in general and it is a completely different experience to hunt waterfowl now in, even hunting the geese they've really sped them up and you can clearly see that they are thinking a lot more when flying away from you this time around than they used to so the only big animals you'll actually find on this map is going to be the brown bear you're going to find the moose and you're going to find a uh, probably white tail is um, the other somewhat decent one and uh, i know we have a great one roaming around well Probably not on this map, but they are out there, and one of them is the Whitetail, so you could potentially get great ones on this map. There's also been a new great one introduced to the game. As far as I'm aware, nobody has actually figured out what it is yet, but who knows? It could be one of the really interesting species. But with that said, I have so many good things to say about this up update, and one of them is we used to have a completely useless RDS red dot side. Now, it looks like this, and not only does it look like this, but you have so many different things you can change here. Reflex sight, reticle shape, reticle color, reticle opacity, reticle size, lens color, and lens opacity. It's just... You can basically customize it to be exactly how you want it to be. I've gone with the yellow uh, tint and a 70% uh, opacity. And of course, a red crosshair in the small size. It is super good to put on your shotguns. I know that a few of you might be against that, but it is just super easy to use when you're running around and all of a sudden you have the grouse or you have the capacaly coming around and you need to take them down really fast. While we're talking about that, then have a look at this. The weapon wheel. At first I thought, what are we going to need this for? But it is so damn good. On PC you do it by holding down your middle mouse button, mouse 3, and then you can even change between sights by hitting E and having your uh, weapon wheel up. Such a small little thing, but you don't have to go into your inventory anymore. And... I hats off to uh, EW for making a change like that. That is actually going to be super useful, especially for the console people as well. Um, I didn't really know what it was going to bring for me in the beginning, but I got to be honest, that is such a nice little quality of life change as well. So it doesn't even matter if you want to be hunting the rocky archipelagos, the wild fields, the thick spruce forest, or the vibrant fell hills. This map offers it all. 
join us on Revantuli Coast. Link in the description down below. Thank you so very much for watching.